super awesome news. I just got a notification that we got a shipment at the float shop. I'm gonna go check it out. <laughs> That's that new pine tire. Let's go! Woohoo! We got a ah, and they're in some Jeff McCosker blue. Kind of a little bit pumped on. So it looks like we got the actual fish bones themselves. Looks like little comb type deals. Some grip tape on the top. I think they're calling those fish skins. Got a bunch of sweet stickers. Gonna have to stick one of those on the door. Maybe on the kegerator. And the fillet tool which just kind of feels like a regular plastic credit card. Looks like that's how you take them off. Some heavy duty Velcro with an adhesive strip on the back. And these ones look like they're definitely 3D printed, but I think the final version is gonna be injection molded. They are raised up a little bit. You can see right there. And I think that's so that when they lay flat on top of the sensor, there's a little bit of a gap right there. Well, enough talk. Let's get these bad boys installed. I think we're gonna put them on old trusty blue right here. Whoops. So it didn't come with any instructions, but it really doesn't look that difficult. It just seems like a, sort of a peel and stick type deal here. So let's slap these guys on and get shredding. Ah! So first things first, we peel off this adhesive backing here. Already took it off this side. Flip them over, throw them right on the edge there. Huh. Well, that might have been the easiest installation of a uh, one wheel accessory I've ever done in my entire life. Super easy. Cool. Let's go for a float. So I'm not sure how the audio is going to be because we're out riding around right now, but initial impressions, uh, pretty, they're pretty comfortable. I got to say, they're not bad. It seems like it is locking the front foot in a little bit. Um, the toe part feels great. The heel part, still trying to figure that out, but just riding on them for a couple minutes, not bad. So just after a quick round around the block, gotta say they feel pretty nice. Well, I'm thinking it's gonna be a lot more testing on these over the next week, but initial impressions, I don't hate them. They uh, they give it pretty nice concave to the front foot. The only thing I'm possibly feeling, my foot sits on the front a little bit different than most. That's about right where I have my foot. And it seems like under the heel, you can see it lacks a little bit of concave right in this zone. And it seems like this part is kind of digging into my heel a little bit, but the toe feels super nice. If you ride like a normal person with your foot like that, you probably gonna love it. The thing I was actually really concerned about sensor sticking, almost all of the front concave solutions have had small issues with sticking sometimes, which can lead to a runaway board, which is probably the worst possible thing that can happen on a one wheel. The cool thing about these I noticed is that the combs, uh, for lack of a better term, I don't know, maybe the bones of the fish bones, these little guys right here, they're actually raised up a little bit. So it they're not activated onto the sensor pad until you step on them. So when you put pressure on them, they actually activate, drop down and touch the grip tape. And then when you let pressure off them, 
they let go. So you can see that right there. They just sit default up and off the board, which is pretty cool. Now for the important part of the testing, the step off test. We need to make sure that the sensors don't stick because that's my biggest concern when it comes to front concave and front concave aftermarket solutions. So uh, let's test it out by doing 10 step offs in a row, see what we get. Gonna have to give these ones a 10 out of 10 on the non-sticking sensor rating. So, ah, good job guys. Time to test the fillet tool. See how this thing works for taking them off. This fillet tool is for removing these fish bones if for some reason you wanna not ride them or maybe you just wanna ride the toe or just the heel or switch them out for a different one. So let's see how they work. So the instructions say to start at the base here and stick it in between the Velcro pieces. There we go. And then just zip it through. Seems pretty easy. So it looks like I screwed that one up a little bit and uh, part of the Velcro stickiness actually came with it. My guess is that's just because they were installed like 15 minutes ago and they haven't had a chance to cure yet. So I would say when you do install these, maybe don't try to remove them with the fillet tool for a day or two, let the glue cure, but it should be an easy fix. I should just be able to peel it off and stick it right back on the board there. Easy enough. On the final production model of these, I'm hoping they, they go with a black Velcro instead of a white Velcro. Just be cleaner. All right, let's get these suckers stuck back on. Pretty easy, 30 second install. And with only using one hand, might I add. So I'm definitely gonna leave these on my board for about a week and then I'll hit you guys with an update on how I like them. That update's probably gonna happen on our Instagram channel. So be sure to follow us at float.life on Instagram. That's at the float.life. And uh, cool, float on my friends, we'll see you later.